ask myself repeatedly, am I a daughter to my papa or should I be a nurse to my papa? My name is Crystal. I'm the caregiver. I'm also a community nurse. When I was 13 years old, we were told that my father has stage 3 rectal semoid cancer. When I asked him how you feel, he was still put in a very brave front to tell me, don't worry, Cha, I can make it. We can make it together. But unfortunately, he has another relapse. His cancer spread to the lung. So my mom, she actually go to find a job and immediately work as a night shift, permanent night shift production worker and has to handle big machinery. One of these fine days, um, we receive a phone call from her boss. Her finger is being crashed by the machine. So she stopped working after that. And very soon, my mom actually go into stroke. My mom totally have, total, in total, have four rounds of stroke. She was homebound for 10 years. So I, I take up an uh, odd job lah, at a young age. Why I joined nursing and I know I want to go in the community is actually start from my own personal experience, encounter since I'm 13 years old when I'm a caregiver. 2017 October, my father, he was diagnosed of both esophagus and gastric cancer. My papa is a foodie. He loves food. Sometimes I, 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 they, they just casually say, you are, a, you are a nurse, you should know that he cannot take this kind of food. I was in a stage of confusion. I asked myself repeatedly, am I a daughter to my papa or should I be a nurse to my papa? So I, I, I start to feel my stress level very high. When I'm working in the hospital, similarly, the stress level also very high because I'm working full time and I have to care not only my papa, but also I have to reassure my mommy. I suffer burnout in 2018. I actually learned a lot of self-care tips from the AIC platform shared by different caregivers going through taking care of their loved ones in different parts of their life. And it also made me realise that the importance of self-care. If I know AIC earlier, compared to that time I don't even know AIC, I think I will not be so alone. At least the journey, there is somebody to discuss with, there is somebody that I can um, get the resources from. We caregivers always have a guilt feeling towards our loved one. But we must also remind ourselves we are not perfect either. We have to take care of our own self, our own mental health, our own emotional and our own physical health to recharge in order to continue to walk down the journey with your loved one.